fellow YouTubers and fellow Hoobians and everyone else, um, today I'm going to be doing my, obviously lo the last video I did was my top 5 doctors. Now, this video I'm going to do my top 5 companions. Five. Okay. So, number 5. Oh, now, number 5 is Clara Oswald. Um, the re Clara Oswald, Oswald, sorry. The reason why she's my favorite companion, well, she's the fifth because uh, I do find her quite annoying sometimes. Depending on what the adventure is, I find her quite annoying. I mean, she is smart. Um, she's smart. She's she makes me laugh, and I love the way she like teases the doctor and everything. It's just hilarious. Um, but also, she's a companion where you have one of those um where they're the companion for quite because she's only been a companion for quite a while like for example martha she was a companion she was actually probably to me in fairness she's probably about the shortest companion because her series actually felt really short um and so like martha's i have a feeling martha's gonna be a bit like clara like where she's a companion and people most people actually don't even mention her anymore so i think that's probably that's probably gonna happen when clara leaves um also um i think she it's kind of changed the Doctor Who a lot of the era, and I think it's it's nice to see change, but also it's kind of sad to see the the, the Matt Smith era go. And she she's kind of now technically she's kind of the only original Matt Smith era left because she started in series seven, which is the Matt Smith era. So you know, um, but yeah, apart from that, she she really got up to speed with everything, and she you know. I think she was funny, even though she's kind of annoying. She, I do find her annoying. I think she's pretty, but I just, I just think that's why she's my fifth. Um, number four, if I remember it rightly, is if I remember it. Hold on, if I remember. I need to remember. Is um, Shana. Donna? Is Donna? Not Sherlock. I wish it was though. <laughs> um, Donna. The reason why I, I love Donna because I had to put her four because she's not actually my favorite. She's like. Like basically the funniest member. She's f and number why she's number the reason why she's number four, right? She's funny. She uh, she acts like a sister to sorry. She acts like a sister to him, th to the doctor almost. Um and she also doesn't like not getting her own way, which is kind of what I like about companions. I mean they're really feisty and everything. And what's good about her is that she puts the doctor in his place because when he gets too emotional, she's like thinking, hold on, wait a minute, stop getting emotional. <coughs> I'm a best friend talk to me but then he's like no i don't want to talk to you about it maybe she'll talk to me and like he's he's kind of scared of her anyway but um yeah and that's what basically happened um and also i think her story was pretty i think her ending was really emotional and when she left i cried for weeks i think she was she um was the companion that really sort of made me feel good about Doctor Who because she was quite of an emo she was quite part of an emotional era because it was also the end coming to the end of the, the David Tennant era as well so it was kind of a bit emotional so yeah my third <coughs> is Miss Rose Marion Tyler now the oh, no, Rose Marion Tyler yeah <laughs> the reason why that's my sister by the way the reason why I said she stirred is because she was actually my even though she was my first companion because obviously I've been watching her since I was five since I was five years old so since two thousand and five um like I, she clicked for me like that but then after a while when she came back it started to get when she kept on coming back because obviously she meant she meant to be trapped in a parallel universe when she kept on coming back it kind of get on my nerves because like what's the point of being her being trapped if she's gonna keep on trying to come back you know but in the in the end I still loved her like and. I just love the way her dynamic with the 10th Doctor was just so adorable, and the way, like, with the ninth Doctor, she she was more of a best me she was more of, how, how would you say it, um, Rose, Rose was more of a mum, in a way, to the ninth Doctor than, than the 10th Doctor, to the 10th Doctor, she was like, she was like a girlfriend to him, basically, oh, so, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> um, <coughs> so yeah, and also, um, she was pretty good at, like with Sarah Jane what got my nerves. She kinda got jealous about Sarah Jane, but then she kind of calmed down a bit and she realised that, you know, in the end that he's gonna leave her anyway, so <clears throat> but he didn't he doesn't want obviously she he doesn't want to and she doesn't want him to, so it you know, it's pretty emotional. So yeah. 
Um, no. People, it's going to come with kind of a shock to people. Um, Shush, I'm right, I'm doing this. Okay, race. number two, um, my second favorite. She, okay, um. I don't understand if it's Okay, number two is this beautiful lady over here. Oh, no, River Song. Actually, no, it's not, actually. Oh, Amy Pond. Love it's her. this one here. I can get the picture right, sorry. It's this one over here. Amelia Pond. The reason why she's my favorite companion is because obviously she completely changed my Doctor Who life. Okay, like no, she changed. She, she um um she was the first ever companion because obviously she was the first companion of the start of a new era, and also because um she, what I love the way is how they, they she met the Doctor as a little girl, so that really kind of touched me a bit as well. Um, and also, I think the fact that, um, I think the way she's really feisty, because like Donna, she's like to him, no, don't get over emotional, because she doesn't like it when he gets over emotional, because then when he gets, over, he gets really angry and he gets violent when he gets over emotional, so she doesn't like that. Sorry. So she doesn't really like that when he gets over emotional. Um, and when she does get over emotional, well, I mean, sorry, when he does get over emotional, she kind of steps back a bit and says, hey, hold on, listen. I'm a best friend. Please don't. Okay, I love you. I love you as a friend. And obviously, we know what happened. She got tenant. She obviously is an animal. But also, I love how the dynamic with her and Eleven, which is so cute, and I just shit them so badly. Um, I used to shit them so badly, and I, I still do actually. Um. So yeah, she basically, I. She was the companion that really touched that really touched my heart, and obviously she's that probably one of the longest running in the in the past. She's the longest running companion in the past eight years, because technically Rory was actually in it in the in it for half a Doctor Who because he or first time Doctor Who because he only came about in about the he was in the first episode, but he only he only probably he only probably came in the Vampires of Venice, but Venice which was the sixth episode I think six yeah sixth episode, so um yeah um. And also, I think she was the she actually was the companion that obviously was at the time when Doctor Who became more popular in America. So and people started to love her more, and she really changed Doctor Who a lot because um, I think my favorite episode of her, I think, has to be the episode with I think uh, I think what episode would it be? My favorite episode of her. I think my my favorite episode with her is well one of my favorites is probably the girl who waited because she um she like even it wasn't actually necessarily her but she what well, kind of was her from the future her future self sacrificed her sacrificed herself so her younger self could live on with Rory which I found was pretty emotional and. I found that really cool. Yeah, and I think uh, when Angel State Manhattan, when she when all you hear is Raggedy Man goodbye, when she left, <sighs> that I cried for months and months. I literally didn't get over it because everything was setting me off. Like literally everything. Like um, I think an apple even set me off. Like it was that bad. That was how bad it was. Um, a picture of me when I was younger was setting me off. It, and the thing I'm having was my little sister. She reminds me of um, the younger version of River. You know, like my other, my, I got another little sister. It's her birthday today, anyway. So yeah, um, she's like, I know because she's she's like two, but she remind she, when she was younger, she reminded me of um, Baby Melody. So it was kind of, and even she was setting me off as well, which got, ooh. but yeah. Now time for the number one, number one, the number one companion to date. Well, for me. To date is. River Song. Same, same. Professor River Song. Okay. The reason why she is my top companion because I think she is funny, she's feisty, she is sexy, she is sassy, everything. Um, she also puts the doctor in his place. Like other companions, she puts him more in his place. Like he, he kind of, t he basically turns, he turns her on because 
<laughs> he he t he does. I think he does. And she and she turns him on, and it's 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 so beautiful. But yeah, um, he turns her on, and she turns him on. It's vice versa, and I think um she she's my idol. Okay, Alex Kingston is my idol, and also her story is pretty sad. I like her. I also like her because um even though she killed the ma she killed the doctor, she actually really did regret it, which is a fact that you should regret it because you know obviously it's not her fault so she should regret it and um and i think the fact that um she's a life changer um when and it's funny how what i like about her is that she always comes back when it comes to the angels when the angels are coming back she comes back and it's really weird actually um yeah so yeah and i also ship man alex yeah i just love her for song she's she's a she's a boss i just love her so much and it's i love i love Mova is my favorite companion so much i love her so much that i can't even explain how good she is that's so much i love her anyway um i hope you enjoyed my video um I hope you agreed with top companions. Comment what your who your top five companions are. Anyway, um, bye bye fellow Hoobians. Remember to subscribe, like and comment, and also share the video. <gasps> Peace out, dudes. <laughs> Peace out, Hoobians. Bye, sweeties. Alonzi, Geronimo.